Hello, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's segment of readings. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them, just to be fair. For the tarot portion, I'm using Wild Reflections Tarot by Weispell. I think it's Weispell. And on the back here is the Weispell.com. There's some information there if you're interested to check that out. I think it's a really pretty deck. Uh, support of Oracle cards, one of my favorite decks too. Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich. And there's a hayhouse.com website down there at the bottom below the um, barcode somewhere, if you're interested. And last but not least, I do use dice. I use a 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana, um, substituting 22 for 0 for the Fool. And then I use a 14-sided dice for the ma Minor Arcana, and a four-sided dice to choose the element for the minor arcana. That's these are from Math Art Fun. Math Art Fun is the white website. Um, MathArtFun.com. It's from the dice shop. If you're interested. Okay. That being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again, and let's get into your reading. Hello Cancer! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Cancer? Woo Six of Wands. Success right off the bat. We like that, don't we? I know I gotta wait till all the cards get out to find out where things are going, but... So I shouldn't be I should not be surprised. You have some similarities to Pisces reading. Pisces is also a water sign, you probably realize. Um but yours is going differently, so I don't know. If you're dealing with a Pisces or have a Pisces in your life, you might want to watch that too to see if there's some connections. But I'm seeing stress come forward and it's coming forward very similar to the way that Pisces did, so I think there's something good coming in for you, too, but why does it feel so different? Something I think is going to... I think there's a possibility that something might change your life, and you're not really sure you want that to happen. That's just kind of coming forward. So it's. I feel like when it first shows up, whatever this is, I don't think it's a problem. I feel like this is kind of like... I feel like I'm almost shell-shocked by this whole thing. So you got the Emperor and you got the King of Fire. You got the Page of Fire in the past. A lot of fire coming in your coming in your way here. It's not bad. There's the return I keep getting like the return of fire because you got the Page of Wands in the past, King of Fire coming up with the Emperor. The Emperor is also a fire card. Sometimes talks about Aries. Doesn't have to be an Aries person, but usually very blunt. And very much about, this isn't right, we're going to fix it right now. That type of energy um, can be a, very, a little bit harsh with communication. Can be, doesn't have to be. Um, somebody's coming in. And I feel like when they first show, they, somebody's returning and I'm like, okay, this is cool. Um, whoever's coming in, I feel they've been around before. And I... I, I feel like, yeah, I know how they are, and I don't feel like there was anything negative. I feel like I knew in the past that they were kind of random. I was okay with that. And mostly because you saw it for what it was. You saw it for what it was, and you're like, yeah, yeah, I know what this is, and I'm not going to worry about it. It's here today, gone tomorrow. I know how that goes. Um... I'm really trying to understand, like, why... It does feel really good. I feel like I have it under control, though. The thing is, something here is different, and you don't see it in the beginning. Something is different, and you don't see it. The thing is, you're very comfortable, like, no, 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 I know what this is. I know what this is about. 
it's fine. Um, I know what to expect, and it's not going to last forever, and that's okay. I'm not okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm not been out of shape about it. It's fine. It's all good. No worries. Um, that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not expecting it to stay. It stays. And now I'm like, okay. <laughs> Um, it stays longer than I expected. And I don't know what to think about it. It's kind of like this isn't this isn't where I thought this was gonna go. I had made peace with how this works. Why is it different? The Queen of Fire, more fire, and then the Justice card in question. When I say in question, it's kind of like um, it's like that. When a card comes up like this, it's not right side up and it's not upside down. In question is like, where does it really fit? Uh, is it a bit of both or is it yet to show itself? That's kind of how I read it anyway. Um, it causes you some stress because it's kind of like, no, 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 no. I knew, I knew, I knew how to handle this before. I was okay with it. And now you're changing the rules and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weird because it may not be I don't it's not that I don't like a different version of this but it's like I don't know if I can trust this and I, I don't understand why this is happening even if somebody's telling you the reasons why it's going differently you're just like okay maybe um I I agree that you believe that but I don't know if I believe that okay it's almost like if somebody kept um kept going out of town for work right and now they're going to be always in your town. And you're just like, really? You're always, like always. It's, you're kind of thinking to yourself, is always last for a year? Or is literally always, always? Um, it's kind of like, I believe they think it's going to be always, but is it really? I feel like it's throwing me around. It's kind of like, uh, but is it? It's kind of like, again, I keep getting the same analogy. It's like somebody said, you know, usually I work and I travel all over the place for work, but now I'm going to be situated here. This is going to be my home office and I'm always going to be here. And I, I keep questioning it. It's like, okay, I believe that you think that. I believe that you want that. But if different opportunities come forward, is that going to be, well, things changed and now I'm going. I'm, I'm really kind of like tortured with this moment. And I'm just like, what is really supposed to happen here? I'm questioning destiny. I, when this destiny card po popped up and the stress with it, it's kind of like, what is really going to happen? What is really supposed to happen? Do I understand it? Do I think I know it? Is it better than I thought it was? I keep questioning destiny. I'm questioning, like, what is supposed to happen? What is supposed to happen? How does it look like it actually will happen? Um... This is interesting. Because I was looking at this card and I like it. It's a beautiful card. But they're like, be careful that you don't just hold back because you're like, I don't know. Uh, um, I feel like I might, I feel like I might recoil and just go silent. I just feel like whatever this was, I just feel like I might recoil and be like, uh, I don't know what to do with this. So I'm not going to communicate. There could be that knee jerk reaction like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, since I don't know. Mm, there might be like this, it's not like a gag, gag order, but it feels like it. Um, sometimes people get very nervous and they don't want to talk about something because they don't, it just makes them uncomfortable. You're going to do what you think is right, but this could stall this situation out in a way that you may not be happy with long term. Something to consider, a possibility, is to like, let it fly. Let it fly. Uh, it says let go, but that bird is kind of like, the bird coming in with the King of Wands? No, that's the King of Swords. Yeah. I'm going to get the same message either way. It doesn't matter. Um, start conversations. Ask the questions. Don't be afraid to ask what you want to ask. If you think whoever this is is going to be offended, let them be offended. I'm not saying to offend people. I'm not saying that. I mean, readings are for entertainment purposes only. Take it with a grain of salt. So I'm not saying to purposely offend people. But if you're like saying, I'm going to ask if, uh, somebody if they're going to be able to give me a ride to work tomorrow. If they're offended by that, then let them be offended. Like, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I shouldn't have asked you that. You know what I mean? 
and like I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought since we're going, and like it's cool that you said no. No is no. I respect that. I didn't think it was a problem for me to ask. Um, ask the questions you want to ask, even if they seem like well, I don't know if that's my place to ask it. It's better that you ask the questions, even if you don't think it's your place to ask it, than just to go silent and not get any information because it will stall out the situation anyway. By asking questions that maybe it seems like you shouldn't be asking, you're kind of like, well, I don't know, that might be rude. It could create a bond here that you actually would enjoy. It could help you get closer to the situation. It could also give you some little intel on it, kind of like, all right, they don't like me asking these questions. Maybe I should distance myself from this anyway. Um, let it fly. I keep getting let it fly. Ask the questions that you need to ask. You... I feel like cancer always has a bit of restraint anyway. So even when you're kind of pushing it a little far, I feel like you know when to stop. I feel. But, you know, and then they're showing me somebody in my life. Well, I hope you know when to stop. <laughs> they're showing me somebody else. I know my life. Well, I hope you do. I know some cancers that are really good and tactful, but I can think of a couple that really aren't. So it's kind of like, I guess it depends how you communicate, just to be fair. They're just throwing that out to me. I'm like, well, you know. I'm still getting no matter what type you are, let it fly. Let it fly, that's what they're saying. All right. You will put a little stress on the situation, but the Ten of Wands, in my opinion, is stress that leads to success. That information will come back to you. You will get what you need, but it could lead to a lot of success. If it's just going to stall out anyway, I don't know. Personally, I'm like, it's better to try than to not try. If you don't try, you're guaranteed to fail. If, you're, if you do try, you have the possibility to succeed. You don't get the possibility to succeed unless you try. It's up to you. Whatever you feel is right. You might get something out of this that you weren't expecting. And you might somebody might show you that what they were actually looking for that maybe they weren't showing you to begin with. They might show you something that you weren't expecting. Um, but if you're willing to let it fly, I do feel like it makes it more complicated for you for a short period. I'm just going to be fair. I don't want to paint a sunshine and rainbows uh, picture. I don't feel like that makes sense. You'll have a moment where it's kind of like you're going to get the information and you're going to be like, you're still going to be shocked. But it could be, I'm getting a very short period. Um, this moment, just to be fair, I feel like this moment comes either way. Even if you go silent, this moment still shows up because I feel like somebody else makes decisions without you. And then I feel like I don't like that. But if I ask the questions I want to ask, I still get this moment, but I feel like it's short, and then I have to decide what I want to do with it. It still, it shocks me, it throws me off, I don't know what to do with it, but when I have the answers I need to have, I can decide what I need to do and what I want to create from this. It's better to be informed so you can decide what you want to do versus not be informed and just be subject to what somebody else decided for you. Which it may seem like, well, they don't have the power to decide for me, but if they decide to move on to some other situation, like you have the possibility to be a connection with this situation, but by not communicating, they moved on without you. That's what I mean. They're kind of deciding for you. You could have had a possibility to be have this connection, but since you kind of shut down, they're like, well, all right, cancer's not interested. I'll move on to somebody else. They're kind of deciding for you. You don't even defaulting to a no. Versus you get in there, find out the information, then you get to decide yes, I want this, no, I don't. And if you go, no, I don't, okay, since I don't want this, what do I want? It may spur you to the next loca no, location, the next moment to where you're like, okay, no, I don't want this, but that actually gets me thinking, if I don't want that, what do I actually want? And that might create some other work, you going in another direction, you creating or maybe even discovering a passion that you didn't realize you had. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.